about the bell a little bit. I've been getting some questions on is it designed just for smaller fish. And so today I'm going to show you how I feed the older fish, the bigger fish. So first what I do is I use black worms. Uh, I've changed from just regular black worms to black worms with spinach because it just seems like a little bit better diet and uh, not such high protein all at once. So I put the black worms in, crush them down, and that gets it started through the holes on top. And then what I'll do is for a little bit more quality food, I'll put some freeze-dried mysa shrimp in there. Now, I don't use any processed foods anymore. I only use natural foods, and my basically my disease in my room is gone. Now, I, did treat, I do treat everything as I get it, and I will have my medicines available coming up with dosages in the next couple weeks. Um, I have the Lobamisol ready, and I have the Metronidazole ready, and then I'm working on two more. And those four medicines are what I use in my fish room. So you see the point of the bell is to give even growth. But for the bigger fish, what it does is it also lets the dominant fish sit at the bell, and then the subdominant fish are still getting food because as you see, as they're picking at the bell, it's spreading it through the tank. Uh, it does take a while, so if you're if you're in a hurry to see it happen, it usually takes over an hour to uh, get all the fish fed because it's spreading through the tank. Now, this is awesome for if you have to leave in the morning and you want your fish, you know, fed, and you don't just have to dump a bunch of food in the tank. But the main reason for the bell was to grow out discus. Now, I've grown out a lot of discus on it so i've tested this product over and over and it's just it just it is optimal growth so that's what the name where the name came from and as you see as i shake it if i'm looking for bigger pieces if you shake it the bigger pieces come to the top and then if they're smaller fish you know like new fry or something you want to go down in inside the jar and you'll get the uh, finer stuff at the bottom or you can do a mixture so this product is designed to grow up fish. As they get older, the foods do get bigger. Now on this bell, I'm gonna make an offer because you guys have bought so many. I've probably sold about 20 of them so far. I'm gonna make an offer to send this to you for free. It's all you have to do is buy $50 worth of product on my website. You will get the bell system free. Now it doesn't include any food, so my suggestion is if you're going with smaller fish, get the optimal growth, which is this right here. And I actually have a two ounce refill bag that you can buy with the bell at no charge. With the bell at no charge, you need to put in the comments, free bell. If you put the comment free bell, I will send the bell to you at no charge with a $50 order. Now, if you look at the website a little closer, you'll, you will see that there is a coupon for $5 off a certain food. You have to search for that. And then that's a coupon code that you put in at checkout. Now, if you spend $79, not only will you get the bell and the $5 off the food, but you'll get free shipping. Now, I'm not going to make a lot of money on that, and that's not the point. The point is to get this product out because I think it's one of the best products on the market. And it's something so new that people are kind of skeptical if it works or not. I've been using this product in, in any certain form for two years. I've grown out about 250 discus on it, about almost 800 rams on it, and even rainbow fish, I notice that I'm growing quicker. So you see here I'm putting in brine shrimp. Now this is the special and you actually get the refill bag. So you have to find the code on the website. And people are asking me, you know, oh, is this what your channel is going to be? Well, here's the thing. If I want to do this full time, I have to make money at it. And yes, I sell a lot of fish. This is true. But I do not want to count on the fish to make money. I want to make money with my products. Is it going to happen right away? No, it's probably going to take a year or two to get this off the ground. So yes, I am promoting my products on this on this YouTube channel, and there'll be other other uh, you know information on this channel. So it's still going to be an educational channel. 
And actually, as of right now, I am almost got all my medicines ready. Now, I use four medicines in my room. I have tried all the medicines. I've tried everything with the pretty labels. I've tried everything as far as uh, the, you know, the manufacturer, the corporate stuff. And I've even tested it. And what I'm finding is a lot of it is fillers and salts. Now, in my medications, I do use salt. And I will break all that down in an upcoming video. Those will be available. Probably the four meds will probably be with dosages. I know I made videos with medicines before with no dosages. But here's the thing. I don't know what medicine you're using, so I can't recommend a dosage because it's going to be different than the pure medicines I'm using. All my medicines are 100%, but I'm going to call them 99.9 .9 because I just believe that's ethical. So, you know, the thing is, is I really want to do this full time. Um, I know these videos are going to be kind of like people are going to get turned off by them, and, and that's fine. I'm still going to do education. Um, and it's very important to me to get what I have learned in 35 years out to the public and make sure that when I say something, I back it up. Here you see my ultimate angels. Now, this is the reason why I started all this is because I was so sick and tired of spending $25 for an ounce of frozen blood worms. And literally for a pound of frozen blood worms, it's $25. And I was spending monthly, probably about a pound and a half. So I was going to get rid of the Altums because I was just like, it doesn't make sense. So that's why I kind of came up with my frozen food and they feed off this bell. Now they're not, their mouths are not designed to hit a bell, right? But here's the thing. I can put this in in the morning and by lunch they're finished with the bell. So it takes some time. And I really believe that this is a form of enrichment. You got to remember these fish are in a tank. These are wild fish. In the wild, you know, they're they're evading predators. They're hiding in trees, sunken trees. They're searching for food and they're not getting fed every day. So that the day is spent constantly searching for food. So this mimics it pretty close. And that is something that I really enjoy watching. But I also know that if I leave, they're still feeding you know, the, the Altums do take the longest, probably for an hour, hour and a half. Sometimes they'll eat this bell. Um, I've been getting great feedback on my frozen food. I know that you have to make it. I hope to one day have that frozen food available in packages to send out in the mail. But as I research, the cost is probably going to be prohibitive. So if you don't, want to make the frozen food it's probably not for you it's really high quality stuff though and i feed it every day in my fish room and you can see by the fish they are all healthy i don't have disease issues anymore in my room uh with the processed food that you buy at you know petco pet smart um, fish stores and stuff like that most of that stuff is a lot of filler and it's just it's just not conducive to breeding fish at a high level so that's really what these foods are for but even if you have a tank and you want that tank to be beautiful the, uh, these these foods will make that happen so you see here these are all my uh, heckle turquoise cross these are all fish I bred myself these are my future breeders I think I have eight of them and this is the frozen food so this frozen food is pretty incredible so these fish are beautiful and you can see the size is perfect. The eye size to body and they're about six months old. So the, the amount of growth on these foods has been pretty incredible. These are some um, cupwa. So these are my next generation, the first generation actually of the cupwa. And it's a wild male to an F1 female. So I know there's not much color here right now. I've been working on for almost a year. Um, I think that these are going to be some high quality fish. And you can see already the shape. They're about a month and a half old right here. And you can look at the texture of the food. But really what I was trying to get with this food is you see the flaking off. That's really what I wanted 
was them to eat off the food, but also spread the food slowly through the tank. So it's very important that I, I look for that quality. And after about 180 tries, I finally got it. And I'm at about 250 batches right now. These are my wild Pontinol stir -by. And I have about 200 fry of these right now. I just moved them into their new tank. They were in a 10 gallon. And actually the other day I fed uh, baby Brian to this tank and I seen um, 10 babies at different stages. You know, some are a little bigger, some are small, but I counted 10 of fry inside this tank and I put plenty of hides in there. And that was kind of my hope is they would kind of breed in this tank by themselves. But when they lay eggs, they lay literally hundreds of eggs on the glass. So these are some of my favorite fish personally is the stir -by. And what I noticed with a lot of the aquarium strains is they weren't very hardy. Still good fish. But by getting these uh, wild in, which was not easy, it took me about a year to get these in, uh, quite special fish. Now here you see, these are the uh, Alan Kerr um, turquoise cross. Uh, these are gone. So I've had about 500 of these and I've sold them all and the average price was about $15. Um, all great shape and that's one thing I'm noticing about uh, the wilds and hybrids is my defect rate is almost non-existent. As far as the coupoi, uh, I have about 150 of those fry and no call so far. Now there are some smaller ones but basically what I do as the smaller ones I notice those I pull those out and put those in smaller tanks to grow and hopefully those will grow out right because their eye size is perfect. They're just not growing because they're not quite getting the lion's share of the food or they're just genetically disposed to being smaller, petite. So I just want to thank everybody for who's ordered off my website and I've gotten plenty of good feedback. I want to thank everybody that's local to me that's been buying my stuff. Mm -hmm.